Welcome to my third tutorial about SCM coding. In this tutorial I'm going to explain how to create an actor. We will start again with this template. I have, uh, like I've told you in my last tutorial, uh, I'm always using this uh, template before when I'm when I'm creating a Clio modification. If we want to create an actor, you can find it in the opcode search tool. Uh, to when you type create actor, you will find the first one. Uh, there are several other create actors opcodes, but I will just uh, use this one. We will name it one at. You can use other uh, numbers too, like two or five or whatever you like. There are uh, then uh, this uh, is the pet type. You can find the pet type in the Sunny Builder help files. But you can al also just uh, leave it uh, a 4. Then you have uh, the model of the actor. I'm always using pet editor for that because then you have uh, a preview of um, of the actor. Well, you can you can choose whatever you want. For example, um this one. So we are going to use this. When you are typing the model, the you will see a list of, of choices. In our case, you can f uh, we are going to use this one. And the the problem with the pet editor is that you can't run San Andreas and um, the pet editor at the same moment. So you first have to close the pet editor so that you can run San Andreas to get the coordinates in game so at the bottom on the left you can see Clio 3 in yellow uh, in yellow letters that means that uh, I have installed Clio properly so if you don't know if you installed Clio properly you can uh, watch in the game if you installed it you can also uh, watch that in the pause menu so we will go outside and there we will crea create a yeah, there we will find the place where we want to create an actor so for example here then we go back to Sunny Builder and uh, read the chords like this and uh, paste it in the opcode what you have to remember about uh, this uh, this opcode and it's the same one creating a car like this or when creating an object is that you have to load the model before you use it so we, there is an opcode for this of course and then that is 0247 so a uh, load model you can use it in a variable but I won't do that I just uh, I will just type uh, the uh, the model we are going to use and then we have to uh, use a loop because we want to check <coughs> if the um, if the model is available so wait until the model is loaded and uh, we will just make a loop for that and paste this opcode in it, so 0248 but when we are going in game now, because you can compile this and uh, test it in game you won't see it at the right place because, or even not at all because um, now we are starting at the uh, in an interior in this case it uh, it falls here so um it will begin in we will begin in a in an interior which is far away so the ground where the actor is spawning spawning isn't loaded yet so what we have to do to prevent that is so that it will uh, come in the uh, it will spawn in the in the right 
uh, on the right in the right place. We can uh, check if the player is near some point. So you can do it with this opcode. So um, near we will make another loop. Of course, don't forget the weight. And then after the if we are going to use this opcode and uh, the radius is how far the player is from the point. So if the player is uh, 20 from this point, you uh, it will continue. So we can this is a x and a y coordinate. So we can use that uh, from our other opcode. So when we try it now. So we are going to check if uh, if it is working. And there you are. Now it spawns spawns at the uh, at the, the good place. So um, you can do all other sort of things with actors, like giving it a marker above their head, or like um, yeah, let it attack the player. But like this, it won't disappear after it's dead. So we will make that. Again, we are going to make a loop. So as you can see, it is very important to understand the um, the loop uh, and the other structures of SEM because you are really going to use that a lot. So first, you want to check if uh, the uh, want to wait until the actor is dead. So we are can use this opcode to check if the actor is dead. Of course, you have to uh, change this into the name of uh, the the actor. And after you checked if it's dead, so here it will won't continue until it's dead. Then you can uh, destroy the actor. So that means that it will go away. In this case, it's 009B opcode. So now, but now it will immediately disappear once it is dead, once the health is zero. So if you press a wait before it, it will wait two seconds after the, the actor died to disappear. So we can test it again. And of course, I first have to kill the actor because else it it won't work. So now it's dead, and then it waits two seconds, and now the actor disappeared. So uh, this was the third tutorial about SCM coding. I hope you enjoyed it and learned from it, and uh, thank you for watching.